Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to go through some steamy moments when celebrities flirt with each other. But before we continue, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. With that said, let's get into it. Catherine McPhee went on to The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, but she didn't expect Russell Brown to go all out and flirt with her. When Catherine walked out on stage, he couldn't keep his hands off her and confessed he had a huge crush on her. You can't. Do don't for say for the queen. For the queen! No, I don't say that, please. Russell, Russell. You're beautiful. Russell, please. Oh, thank you. Should I just sit here? Sure. Please I'll just be here. Russell, look away. With my sexual charisma. All right, there you go. Catherine, please sit here. Oh Welcome. my gosh, this is all too much you for look, just the first look. 30 seconds. Wow. <laughs> That's how when Yaya Abdul went onto the James Cullen show, he was pleasantly surprised to be seated next to Jason Momoa and Julia Roberts. Yaya opened up on the show and even told Julia she was his crush. And it was such a sweet moment between the two celebrities. It even made everyone blush. Uh, now, Yaya, you've never met Julia before, but no. you have quite a significant connection. Uh, you, you were actually my... Uh... Oh, no. Oh god, why are you doing that? <laughs> you were my first uh my first human human crush. <laughs> yeah. I was five years old, uh, and you were uh, Tinkerbell. You were you were my Tinkerbell. When Joshua Jackson and his wife Jody Turner Smith walked the red carpet at Met Gala, they looked stunning together. Joshua couldn't stop showing his love to his wife during their interview with Variety, and it was so sweet. Joshua, what do you think? I mean, come on. The luckiest man in the room. So she slips that on. Does she? You don't slip something like that on, but yes, yes. Tell me about the inspiration. It's very 30s and 40s, you know, like Busby Berkeley musical vibe, so. While getting ready for Vogue with the Met Gala, Joshua Jackson and Jody Turner couldn't keep their eyes off of each other. The cute pair got their makeup done together and kept flirting instead of answering the interviewer's questions. And they were so adorable. I've never had the opportunity to be in this environment with somebody who chooses to really lean in and enjoy that crazy moment. People that you love being there to support you. Sorry, I'm plumping. I, I can't talk right now. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Prepare to be amazed, I'm going to get dressed. While promoting Captain America Civil War, Chris Evans and Elizabeth Olsen dropped by the Ellen DeGeneres show. The two co-stars had a lot of fun playing a dancing game, but they also exposed how close they really are in a hilarious moment. <laughs> Russell Brand is a lovable person who is never shy when it comes to expressing his feelings. During his interviews on The Jonathan Ross Show, he couldn't pass up on the chance to flirt with his favorite actor Keanu Reeves, and it was one heck of an hilarious moment. Necessarily their thoughts about you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you when you're Neo. I love you when you're out of Bill and Ted. I loved you on the coach ride one. I've done nothing but love you, and I've had very little in return. When Tiffany Haddish and Kevin Hart went on the Today Show Australia, one of them expected to have a normal interview. But Tiffany had other plans and couldn't stop herself from joking around with Kevin, who she said was her big little brother. Dancing. Yeah. Well. She twerks. You know what twerking is? And, uh, it wasn't from twerking. It was from doing a shim. Well, Miley Cyrus is twerking. A shim with a twerk. Well, Tiffany got a lot more back there than Miley Cyrus. <laughs> so, as a, as a, uh, you really realize how close you are um, with the person that you're doing it with because these things become so much fun. The days go by fast. And it's, wait a second. She's tired. Oh, no. Tiffany, don't start. Tiffany. <laughs> No, Tiffany, no, Tiffany, don't start this mess on TV. You know I love you, right? All right, don't start this. You're the best big no. little brother. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry that you had to hear that. 
Margaret Robbie and Michael B. Jordan did an interview for W Magazine, and their chemistry was so electric. When asked who their movie crush was at the end of the interview, the two celebrity actors named each other, and it was a very cute moment. Who is your cinematic crush? I was going to say Margo. I was good. This is, I mean, I, it's awkward because he's sitting right here. Yeah, it's kind, of, it's kind of weird. Like, Miss Robbie here. Okay. <laughs> oh, robot. Oh, mine died. No, he's back. He's good. Come on, boxing. Mm. Little, little fist bump. Ish. <laughs> When Chris Pratt went on Good Morning America to talk about his new movie with Jennifer Lawrence, he was shocked when his co-star tried to flirt with him from an earlier taping. Chris Pratt had to try and hide his reaction, but it was clear he was moved by Lawrence. Chris, this is really tough to ask. I'm kind of embarrassed. What's your favorite part about me? Oh. <laughs> if you had to choose, and be specific. <laughs> <laughs> oh! She's beautiful on the inside. Mm. You know, <laughs> I don't think that's what she would ask. No. Nope. Every day, all day, making this movie. So awesome. my favorite yeah, part right. about her would be her sense of humor. She and she had like, nothing oh. but compliments for you as well. Oh, okay. She said you are incredible. When Sebastian Stan and Priyanka Chopra went on Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen, sparks were flying across the room. The two actors were answering fans' questions when they got a bit carried away about love and dating. I think you should bring Sebastian. <laughs> Listen, hang Sebastian on. Sebastian is very unclear about his complicated status. <laughs> I know. I yes. don't want to do it like yes. that's not. <laughs> that's not happening. Yes. It's nothing wrong like, with a little mystery. I, I mean, can't. come on. Do you yeah. need to know Look everything right up front? Oh, okay. You know, well, that's, that's true. I like mystery. Exciting. Chris Pratt's interview with funny actress Tiffany Haddish turned out to be one of BuzzFeed's best show segments because of the actor's chemistry. The two actors gave hilarious and sometimes flirty answers to the questions, which made the interview more interesting to watch. Did you have a man bun? No, I, I never pulled off the man bun. I just had like long curly hair. Like, uh, you just let it hang like it was Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Sounds cute. <laughs> what do you have that nobody else has? Oh, so much. So much. It's <laughs> called it. That's what you have that nobody else has. It. We'll be right back. Hello. Oh, I'm pregnant now. Thanks. <laughs> I'm an Is alien. That how it works? I'm an alien. I get pregnant <laughs> off of kisses on the ear. Seth Meyers was the envy of men across the world when he took Rihanna out for a few drinks instead of a boring studio interview. The late night with Seth Meyers' host was flirting with Rihanna every single chance he got during the games, and it was hilarious. He looked like a lady who was also underwhelmed by the Game of Thrones finale. I don't Game of Thrones. <laughs> hey, you looking at answers? Are you, are you looking? Wait, what's a nice little boy like me doing in the big city without his parents? Wait, are you serious? When Jessica Chastain went on The Graham Norton Show, she had an interesting time with Sir David Attenborough, who kept on flirting with her throughout the interview. Sir David disguised his flirting in a story about birds, but everyone in the audience could tell what was going on. And what the male birds of paradise do oh, he's to off. ingratiate themselves. <laughs> the ladybirds of paradise. The other one is another male species has got long quills coming out of his tail. And what he does is to turn round and then flick his friend across the face with his quill. Oh, that wouldn't work with me at all. He would, he would, he would. <laughs> the upside down in I can show you later. <laughs> <laughs> Nicki Minaj and late night show host Jimmy Fallon got a little flirty when he went on a date for his show. The two acted like a real life couple and you could tell sparks were flying as they tried out different foods on the menu. How do you like your lobster meetup? I'm really having a good time tonight. Thanks. Uh, I uh, like the lobster meetup, but I like the view even more. Of me? No, yeah, well, oh, well, well I'm telling you a blind, blind date. date yeah. <laughs> I haven't dated a long time. <laughs> I don't that. Chris Hemsworth and Natalie Portman couldn't take their eyes off of each other while promoting Thor. While at the Graham Norton show, Chris and Natalie hardly paid attention to the other guests and kept on giving each other flirtatious looks. 
because I can make anyone look huge. That's right. <laughs> I'm only four foot three. <laughs> I'm just extraordinarily short. Little, should we should we stand we up should, and show yeah. it? Yeah. And I have like very high heels on right now. <laughs> I have like my, my Thor like heels. Very... Are you the Thor heels? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just get Natalie's action figure. Here she's. Now they are almost. Uh... <laughs> That flirty moment from Chris and Natalie brings us to the end of today's video. Which was your favorite celebrity moment in the video? Share it down below, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more interesting videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.